Where's my freaking mouse, dude? Where's my remote? Also, what? There it is. Good. Hang on a second. I gotta get my remote. So I can turn up the jams. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I forgot one last thing. Hold up. Okay, we're good. Sorry. Okay. Ugh. Hey, what's up? Something's honor related. How's it going, buddy? You have a steadfast heart of gold. I don't know why. Hey, Nate. What's up? I don't need a reason. I've got my way. My own way. It doesn't matter! Now what happens? I will never give up the fight Long as a voice inside drives me to run and fight Who is wrong or who is right? Give me a second everybody, I'm just setting up everything Okay dude, I get it Hey, everybody! How's it going? My goodness! Everyone's here today. Tonight, I should say. Give me a second, I'm setting up. Hang on, I'm, I'm just tweeting right now. Doesn't matter. Okay. Okay, everybody. So, today, tonight, I should say, I am just going to be working on a little bit. Oh, my freaking, no wonder my freaking screen looks so dim. My computer isn't plugged in. Let's fix that. I will never give up the fight. Long as the voice inside drives me to run and fight. There we go. That's better. Um... Ooh, I should, you know what, while I'm remembering stuff to do... Hey, Razzy, what's up? I am gonna turn down... Yeah, you guys heard that. Media. Okay, there we go. I turned out all my sound, so... Notification sounds are off. All good. Okay, so... How's it going, guys? I thought you said you were gonna stream Sunday. Yeah, I was. And I still am, but I... I kind of want to stream right now. I want to stream right now. So... You know, we're only going to stream for a little bit, considering it's almost... it. Well, it is 9 o'clock. Um, you know, I just thought... Be right back. Give me just a second. Sonic and Knuckles gang. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry chat, we're good. I just needed to get the spare iPhone charger because I'm going to charge up my iPhone since it's dead right now. Um, <laughs> reason why, so that way in case if I get like any like Twitter mess Twitter or Instagram messages, I can just, you know, check that out on the phone. So, uh, let's go ahead and plug that in. Trip and fall. Okay. My best friend is sewing the octopus from Coraline. Ooh. That's cool. GE Knuckles plush gang? Yeah, and you know what's funny? I saw in your video, your Knuckles is like slight in slightly better condition than mine. Cause like he I saw that he didn't have the freaking the 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 hanger or any any of his tags, but uh yours had the freaking the divots, the, the bolts in his um uh, little Lego shoes. Mine doesn't. So that's funny. That's that's pretty funny, so put him back anyways uh today tonight uh i'm gonna go ahead and work on i don't know what um here let's uh okay actually i do know what so <laughs> i went out bought some more fabric today some of you saw my twitter i, I just want to show you this before we get started here so i got out i went out and got a bunch of stuff 
Hold up, wait, I get grab this as well. I grabbed the I got a bunch of stuff at Joanne's, right? So I got paid today, so check it out. I got a bunch more freaking wire, so that way I can make um a bunch of uh characters. Like it only takes three wires, technically, like just for the limbs, for any Sonic character. There is 12 pieces in each pack, so I went ahead and got two because they were on sale. Uh, I would have bought more, but, you know, hey, Nuclear Blade, what's up? Um, I just, I, I wanted to just get that because I only had two wires left in my arsenal. So, you know, I need that wire for Gamma. Ooh, yes. I, okay. Chili Dog, what's up? Hey, how's it going, dude? Um, okay, so, Sonic related, um, here, I'll show you exactly what you need. Uh, it doesn't have to be in this packaging, it can be in any sort of, any different packaging. As long as it's this green 16, here, here you go, there's the details. It's 16 gauge stem wire, hold on, let's see if you can, like, hopefully that, like, focus. Yeah, it says 16 gauge, so. I'm doing pretty good! Uh, I just got back from Joanne Fabrics. We got, we got... Uh, Pueblo Viejo, uh, also. That was pretty delicious. Hey, Spring Hedgehog, what's up? Spinning Hedgehog, I'm sorry. Got the wire from Home Depot. Oh, they, they probably have it too. They should have it too. Uh, I also got this stuff right here. Uh, this is... This is, uh, bead wire, I guess. Um... It, it, this is also, uh, this is 16 gauge as well. However, uh... I think now okay this is the thing I'm curious about where's my other wire my my black wire that I had before I gotta check this out because I bought this thinking that this was the thinner stuff but it feels pretty strong like it the the one I got last time was 16 gauge but it was soft and move like bendable pretty easily but I gotta find that little bit of the the stuff I have left wherever it is so I can see if there it is I found it hold on okay so yeah what the okay so hold on let me let me test this out because I got this thinking that it was exactly like uh, this stuff it's the exact same size but it feels like it feels sturdier turn up that music yo hey what's up shadow gamer what's up Hey, Daniel, what's up? I didn't know you were live because I'm using my Kindle. I don't get notifications because I have Google Play version of YouTube. Oh, okay. Well, I'm pre I appreciate you being here, man. I'm very close to finishing Gamma's base head. Hey! Nothing? I'm doing good, man. I'm doing great. Uh, I just gotta get my wire cutter so that way I can cut this like I'm just okay so I'm putting stuff together at the moment like trying to see what works and what doesn't because again this wire it's the it's the right it's the right size but like it feels sturdier which is not what I want this No. Oh, jeez. Okay. There we go. Um. Yeah, you know what? That does feel sturdier. Oh, that feels much sturdier. What the heck? Like, look, I'm barely, I'm barely messing with it, and it's like so easy to bend this stuff, this original stuff. And like, if I move this, I gotta like kind of fight it a little bit. Like this is, okay, it, it's still weaker than like the normal green 16 gauge. I'll see you later, Daniel. Bye, Daniel. Uh, let's see. And I know I got here, but it's bedtime for me. Sorry, have a nice day. Oh, see you later. I appreciate you dropping by and saying hey. Um, but yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that this is so sturdy like that could 
become a problem. Because I bought this. This stuff is for, um, this stuff is specifically for, um, it's copper. This is copper. But, um, what is it? What was I saying? This stuff is actually for the finger poseable, like the, the poseable fingers, you know. So, give me a second. Let me try something here, because I want to see how it would... Ooh, that's very sturdy. That's extremely sturdy. I don't know if I like that. I don't know if I like that. I'd have to fight with that a lot if I'm, like, trying to pose someone's fingers. That actually might be stronger than the freaking 18 gauge that I used to use that I stopped using because it was too strong. I have 18 gauge right here. Like, hello? The, the 18 gauge is easier to use than this. Okay, so this is the wrong kind. It's, like, roughly the same. It's roughly the same. This is crazy. Shoot. I got the wrong stuff. Oh well. Well, well, I guess I'll hold on to that because, like, it is pretty sturdy, so I guess I could use it for something else. Maybe you can make a knuckles with posable dreads. What do you think is the most complicated Sonic plush you've ever made besides Omega? Complicated. Well, okay. Let's see. Let's let's go over the characters I have made. Um, so not counting Omega, I've made Sonic Soap. So hey, Mr. Sonic, what's up? Uh, Sonic Soap Sonic, Super Sonic with soap shoes. Um, Shadow, Super Shadow, but no, nah, that that uses the. There's nothing different except for the fabric colors. Um, so Sonic Soap Sonic. Supersonic, Shadow, Silver. That's five right there. Knuckles, Metal Sonic. I would say Metal Sonic. It took me a minute. I forgot about Metal Sonic for a second there. Metal Sonic. I was about to choose Shadow, but then I completely forgot about Metal Sonic. Oh, anyways, so I wanted to show you the, uh, these things too, real quick. So I also bought these, which I've been looking for. I've been looking for more of these. I got doll stands. These are good. These are really good. Uh, I got these, which are the right size for what I needed. So, doll stands are freaking awesome. Check this out, right? Whoa. Let's <laughs> check it, right? This is good for uh, Sonic. So, give me a second. Let me find my Sonic real quick. So, he's kind of still laying in his laying position. But if you keep him standing, and if he's running, so let, let's try getting him running. So, he would be, you know, that's good. That's, like, perfect, actually. So, I'm at my, uh, I'm at Myrtle Beach. Huh. That's cool. So, okay, so yeah, these are these are pretty cool. I bought two of these, and then I bought a bigger one in case if uh, I need something slightly bigger, but not too not too tall. I was gonna get the other option, but I was already pushing my my spending limit, so you know. So yeah, that, and then also I bought a bunch of new fabrics here. I'll show you what I got. So, check it out. So, I got two new pinks. This is going to... Okay, so here's a normal pink. That's, you know, something that I needed for a while. I had the really light pink right here. And it's uh, the, quite the difference. Um, it's hard to tell on camera. But, yeah, in person, it's quite the difference. Um, and then I bought this, like, orange-ish pink, which is perfect for what I'm working on right now. Uh, I got more red, because you can't go on, uh, go wrong with getting more red, especially with the amount of characters that have red in it. So, that, I also got this purple, which, if I already had, if I already had this purple, I would have used it for this chow plush. 
Um, I'm kind of like I'm fighting with myself whether or not I should just go back and remake these ha the arms. I don't know. I don't know. What do you guys think? Because like this is the perfect color that would like make this look. It's hard to it's hard to tell. I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is right now. I think it'll be fine. And then I got this this very like this cream yellow, which just looking at it you probably know what it's for. So. And then I got. You, uh, I got some anti-pill flush fleece. Uh, I got anti-pill black. Because I never had anti-pill black. I always... I had, like, some variant of black fleece. And it worked for what I was doing. But it's it's thinner than anti-pill fleece. And I would prefer to work with anti-pill fleece. So, that's cool. I got a yard of that. I got half a yard of everything else. Um, but yeah, dude, um, let's get to work. Let's get to work! Yeah, this is definitely gonna be the most complicated plush I will ever make. Eggman wasn't nearly as complicated as I thought. My friend Jackson said hi. Hi, Jackson! What's up? Where's my drink? My drink? My diet doctor kill- Oh, I think I left it outside. Hold up. I'll be right back. Got it. Okay, we're good. How can I eat this pizza without my drink? Okay. So, let's get started on what we're doing. So, um, off camera yesterday, I kind of cheated a little bit. I was working on something else. I, I was working on another piece uh, of the plush. I wanted to go ahead and get the halo shape made, so here's that. It's not fully sewn together. We're leaving that open because what we're going to do, I'll show you here. Uh, basically, we're going to, whenever we start, whenever we're ready to sew it, we're going to ladder stitch it around the wire. So, like, you see how it has that opening right there. So we're just going to put that in between the two pieces and then ladder stitch around it. That's how I'm going to do that. So... We're waiting a bit. I want to add the facial details beforehand, so. We're working on something Sonic related? Hey, yo! I get it. Um, okay, so I gotta think about what I'm working on, chat. Because I kind of, um, I kind of don't know. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see. I could work on the wings, the tail, the feet. I, well, actually, that's pretty much it. Other than having to paint. Catelyn's Cave, hello, welcome. Welcome back. It's good to see you. I miss my school friends. My mom isn't going to let me go to school. I'll do online program. What am I making? We're going to be working on this chow, this little chow dude right here. Little chow, right here. So, well, it's good that you're staying home for school, though. Honestly, like I, I would prefer the situation we're in that like people do home from school right now. Cause, I mean, school from home. Jeez, I'm sorry, my brain. Uh, let me go ahead and grab. No, okay. Uh. So, here's what I'm... Okay. I gotta think. Uh... Oh, my pencil's over here. Hold up. I gotta grab my pencil, because I gotta make a uh, template. Okay. There you are. Got it. I got my pencil and my sketchbook here. Uh, I use some sketchbook paper, especially this kind, because it's... Okay. 
Um, so I know it's it's pretty goofy, but I I have this sketchbook. I don't actually draw like okay. I've been drawing in this because it's my only option right now, but I don't like drawing in this kind of sketchbook. I like using the actual art, artsy type sketchbooks. I don't know if I have an example on me right now, but I'll show you later what I'm talking about. But Minecraft, but it's round, yeah, dude. Uh, but I like drawing up my templates in here in this uh, with this paper. So let me go ahead put that out. Whoa. Throw it all away. Break you, nobody can tell you. Hey, ACO, what's up, buddy? Good to see ya. I haven't seen you in a while. Uh, no, I gotta hold on to that. Okay, so. I guess we could work on the wings. Let's work on the wings. Okay, so let me pull up an image on my Twitter. Twitter. The wicked break you the wicked tail In this life forever Yes, uh, yeah, I'm working on a chow right now. Wherever you go Face it again and again Give me a second, chat. I'm looking. Okay, so, so yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm actually shipping out uh, Android 21 uh, before I go to work, hopefully. You can make a Sonic Chow, right? Because I want a Sonic Chow with my Soap Shoe Sonic. I probably could, but we'll see. I am the Eggman. That's what I... Oh, wait, I forgot what I was going on Twitter for. I gotta pull up the... Wingies. I, okay, so chat. Okay, so I want your opinion on what I should do. So the reason why I'm kind of like hesitating on the feet, uh, it uses a complex design that I'm going to have to make a new template for. <clears throat> I should make Big the Cat. I do plan on it. Eggman is fat, yes. I do plan on making... Uh, the amount of characters there are. Like, I do plan on making a lot of characters. Okay. I'm kind of like... Trying to figure out what I should do next. Like, I'm... That base is really cool. Okay, so I'm thinking the wings. The, okay, so there's. Hi, Devin. What's up? SBO. I do plan on probably making SBO at some point. What kind of chow has wings? All chow have wings. They all do. They should make a Chow mobile game. Oh, I gotta answer that later. Sorry, David. David just called. Let me, hold on. I gotta message him let him know I'm live right now. Give me a second, everybody. Um, complete. Maybe Silver the Hedgehog. I actually did make a Silver at one point, and um, after this next batch of plushies that I'm working on, like the two, so the three Sonics, sorry. Uh, and the collab I'm doing right now. After that, I'm making Silver, um, I'm making Silver, Blaze, and Whisper. So, that's cool. Big the Cat, I do plan on making Big the Cat. Um, oh, and I haven't been here in a while since the days you stream. I'm always on my job, but right now I'm on break. Hey, that's fine, man. I appreciate you dropping by, buddy. I want to learn that bass line. Yeah, dude, it's so cool. <laughs> Rankles. 
Uh, what's the most complicated character on your radar, your realm of possibility? Um, it'd either have to be Bowser or Omega, one of the two. Kelly Toy Silver, Kelly Toy Silver Shrine, Supersonic OVA. It's Rankles. Are you buds with? I just realized. I, I hate the whispering. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's the whispering I can't stand. Um, are you buds with other Sonic channels? If so, name some. Um, me and Mr. Mo uh, Mr. Gojira, uh, we're good friends. Um, we haven't talked in a while, um, but he, you know, we, we, we talk every now and then he's pretty, uh, we're pretty cool. So, uh, Mr. Gojira, um, like he's one of the, like, he's the only like other big, like he's the biggest person I'm probably friends with. Um, but you know, Sonic Jenny Z, um, tiny angel wings. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, and of course, um, something Sonic related. Can Gojira help me get a soap shoe Sonic plush? Dude, he doesn't even have one. He doesn't even have one, man. That's the most difficult. <laughs> Rankles. Uh, okay, sorry, I gotta, uh, I gotta text David. Give me a bit um live right now okay there we go sorry okay um pat mac can help uh I, maybe yeah maybe pat mac could help you dude keep moving on oh wait what am i throwing the phone over there for i gotta i gotta borrow it real quick okay so chat what should i work on first should i work on the shoes or the like the the feet Wings, my Fox Master. The feet, the wings, tail, or the antenna. Because those are left, that's that's what's left to do. Some feet. All of them. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm going to make all of them at some point, but like right this second, what should I work on? Antenna. Okay. I'm kind of thinking the antenna as well right now. Tail. I got <laughs> answers of all... I'm kind of vibing with the... I'm kind of thinking antenna right now. I want to get, like, the, the base head done. So I can, like, focus on the other details. Uh, but let's see here. Got to live and learn. I want to make an edit of the film, Footloose, but where I censor all the feet. <laughs> can we not with the feet jokes? Come on, bro. It's a very pure stream. No matter what that may be. What does her chow look like? I'll show you. Uh, Tiny Angel Wings Chow. It's it's basically her Twitter profile pic. Uh, this is her. This is who we're working on. This right here. Uh, so that's what we're working on. Uh, the the actual the halo is a different shade of purple than the uh, purple on the body. It It's hard to tell on that photo, but she specified that it is different colored. Um, and then here's the side angle. So we're working on that. Um, we already got the arms basically built up, but now, huh. Because the feet, the feet are freaking, they're, they're complicated, man. See that? Um, do I have a PC? Unfortunately not. I don't. I mean, I have a laptop, but it doesn't count. Um, DeviantArt, Sonic, I get it. Antenna. Okay, okay, we'll do the antenna. Freaking Netflix, dude. I heard they, I heard they apologize, but they're still gonna freaking post the movie 
They apologize for that movie that they're doing, but they, they're still going to post it. Okay, we'll do the antenna. So, let's go ahead. I gotta think how this is gonna go. And then here's the here's the drawing, which is the main reference. This is what, that's the drawing, which is the main reference we're focusing on. But the, the, the model itself is mainly for, like, the other angles. Okay, so, the antenna are gonna be tough. Okay, so, um... Hmm. Uh, I'm thinking. Is it going to be possible the way I'm thinking of doing it? Hmm. Lighthearted news. Japan is going to start an anime YouTube channel for all anime. Hey, that's awesome. Um, let me grab, where is it? There it is, chat template bag. On your laptop, you should try playing Sonic Utopia. I don't think I have the power for that. Like, dude, my laptop can't handle Sonic 2 or Sonic 3. I, I downloaded, I got Sonic 3 on Steam because there was a Steam sale. And uh, it doesn't work well on my laptop because my laptop sucks. So it doesn't. Okay, it doesn't really suck. It's just not built for gaming. So I'm gonna trace the head on to the paper here. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna let, hold on. Oh, hey Vega, I finally got SA1 for my Dreamcast. Time to say goodbye to my burned disc. Hey, that's awesome. Has a dinosaur. I have a dinosaur? Where? I love, I love Sonic 3. Sonic 3 is my favorite Sonic game. Well, okay, specifically 3 and Knuckles. Okay, I'm just gonna let uh, Angel know. Oh, my dino or my laptop. It's a touchscreen laptop. It just it's not built for gaming. I think I don't know when it's from, but it's not a dinosaur. A verb. Where? Hey Vega, which is your favorite articulated Jax Sonic figure? You're, you're talking about the Sonic ones, right? Okay. Um, you know what's funny? I went out to Target and I saw they had Sonic and Eggman, but I didn't pick them up for whatever reason. Uh, I would say probably Eggman and Metal, just because they have well, well they're amazing looking and they have freaking elbow joints. Which does not go for the others, and it's kind of disappointing, but oh well. You got the new Mighty yet? Unfortunately not, dude. That's why I, that's why I went there today. Okay, so let me see. The image again, because I need to see here. I hope Metal has the metallic paint. I don't think he's going to. Unfortunately. See, I'm thinking I might have to paint the antenna purple instead of using the purple fabric. 
Hmm. I'm thinking that, but I'm not sure at the same time. Why would I have to? Because uh, it would be really tiny. The stream is lagging for me. Uh-oh. I'll charge $5 for elbow joints. <laughs> um... I am, like, I am looking for a freaking Mighty, dude. Like, I want Mighty, but, you know, it's hard to find. Because, like, I don't want to pay 30 freaking dollars for a $10 plush. Word? Yo. Sorry, I missed something. Hey, Maverick, what's up? Good to see you. I shall wait. Wait for... The stream is lagging. Uh-oh. Refresh the page. This man... Poggers? Okay. Good. Okay, so now let, let me focus here. Let's see. I gotta make it thick enough so that way it can flip inside out. Crazy Diamond. Welcome. Welcome back. Good to see ya. Make a Mighty and Ray? I do plan on it at some point. I haven't seen the small figures near my area, but was able to get the playset and the whole figure line. That's awesome. How am I today? I'm doing great, man. I got back from Joanne Fabrics. I got a whole bunch of new uh, fabric. Uh, so that way I can make a bunch of new characters. Uh, and by the way... Hang on. Something Sonic related. I, met, I, I, <laughs> I responded to you. Hold up. So, by the way, this chat... Amy and Rouge, I do plan on Amy and Rouge. That's why uh, this pink, actually. I was thinking of using a lighter pink for Amy, but I, I think this fits better. Um, this, you can probably tell, is for either Super Shadow or Super uh, Silver. So... Hang on a second. Give me a second. Give me a second.
Okay, we're good. Sorry, everybody. We're set. Um, now. Hey, what's up, uh, Sam? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Now, uh, sorry, I'm getting a little off topic. I had to message a couple people. Uh, but yeah. I wish Toys R Us was still open so I could find more Sonic stuff. Me too, man. I miss Toys R Us. Like, I deeply miss Toys R Us. Um, but okay, what's up? So, all my super forms are golden, are a golden yellow. Is everything good? Everything's fine. Yeah. No, everything is great, actually. I was just, uh, messaging Angel about this just to get some finer details on some stuff. Uh, and also somebody else about making a deal on something. Uh, now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, hmm, I have an idea of how I could do this, so let's go ahead, what fabric do I use? I use an anti-pill plush fleece, I use anti-pill plush fleece, it's nice, it's soft, uh, it's really nice to work with, so... Yeah. And they have a vast amount of colors. So. Right now is another... <laughs> Fleece. Uh, okay. So, that should be... Wait. Hopefully this does the trick. Because that opening looks very tiny, and I have no idea how that's going to work. But, considering... Where's the template for the hand? Let me check something. Or the arm. What are you doing in my swamp? Me... Favorite level in the game. Okay, that should be a good template. We'll test it out. We'll test it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. So that that's the intended template. We're gonna put that on both purple and white. And see how it looks in the final product. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too thin to the point where it won't be able to flip inside out. Hopefully we can flip it inside out. And uh, it'll be nice, and it'll be thin enough. So I'm really hoping that's the case. Because if not, we ha we're going to have to find another way. King from the Owl House. Hello, what's up? Welcome. Welcome to my stream. Good to see you. You seem new here. Uh, give me a second. Uh, just let you know, we are currently working on a chow plushie for an art trade I'm working on. I'm not new. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry. I didn't recognize the, the name right away. Um... <laughs> Oh, I changed my name and pick. Okay. <laughs> uh, now let's see. My favorite Sonic character is Knuckles. Actually, I'm going to uh, remake Knuckles at some point soon. I really want to. Okay. So I'm just rounding out the end. I don't want to talk about that right now. He 
You better make Knuckles OVA hat. I actually plan on it. Uh, so, you know. Bye, Vega. I have to go back to work. All right. See you later, dude. It was good seeing you in chat again. It's been a while, so. Uh, you know. I appreciate you dripping by. So, have a good one, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Soap shoes do not exist. <laughs> so let's try this method here. Have you heard old school Knuckles before? Like from the OVA, his voice? You know, when he had the hat. Yeah, I, I, I liked his hat. I do want to make his hat. I was going to make it on the original Knuckles that I did, but I forgot to. Yeah, dude, soap is done. They're done. Pretty sure company soap is the fun. Another song, Old School Knuckles, also is S tier and is back. What is back? Oh, his hat? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I know his hat's back. Like, they put it in Sonic Dash. The hat is back. Yeah, dude. They put it in Sonic Dash. It's pretty cool. I'm Sonic the Hedgehog. Woo! Killer Queen bites the dust. Yes, dude. Y'all ever heard of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, dude? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's epic, Sam. Sell book, people like book, you famous. Okay. How do I get that job? I don't know. A spoon? What do you mean? Metal knuckles, yeah, dude. I want to make metal knuckles sometime, dude. I want to figure out how to do it.
Have you ever made a plush that is non uh, posable or flexible? Yes, I have. Uh, the majority of my Five Nights at Freddy's plush line, uh, that's pretty much all they were. Um, my Kirby, Kerbo here, he's non posable, but I mean, like, what could you do with that? Um, as for Sonic characters, I have not made a non posable character before. Okay, let's get this stuff off me. Get off. Get off me, bro. Uh, where's my freaking... Sorry, I've been over there this whole time. I need my... Needle and thread. There it is. Got it. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. Hopefully this works. I really hope this works. Now that I'm looking at it, this shouldn't be any different than like a, a finger or something. What's your opinion on Archie Sonic? I think it's okay. I mean like, some of the characters I really liked. Like I love Shard. He's the first Metal Sonic, and he's he has such a big redemption arc. But I think it's overcomplicated, like way too complicated. So, yeah. Uganda knuckle you 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 gone you gone you gone in knuckles. I hate Ken Penders for his role in Archie Sonic. Dude, I don't I don't know exactly what's up with that guy, but something about him just rubs me the wrong way. Kinda had to be complex since they had a more and had to adapt to uh, stuff from games to fit the lore they already established. Oh yeah, that's true. I was asking because are you thinking about making an Archie Sonic character like Shard or Sally? I totally could. Like, dude, I would love to make a Shard one day. I love Shard. Sally, on the other hand, I'm not so sure. I mean, I could, like, if someone commissioned me, I could do it, but, you know. <laughs> nah, bro, make gunmetal first. Gunmetal would be fun to make. Like, I, I would I would be down to make him. For those of you who don't know who Gunmetal is, that's my OC. That's one of my OCs. Um, basically, it's like it's more of like a what-if type story. Like a Sonic what-if that I thought of like a good couple of years ago that I never like did anything with. Basically, after the events of Sonic Heroes, um, Omega... Because you know what that last cutscene in Sonic Heroes, when Omega and Shadow have... Uh, Metal Sonic, it's like, what do they do with them? They don't just hand them back to the doctors, so what happened? Archie, it's the company that made the original Sonic comics before IDW. But, um, basically, uh, Omega just kind of carried it around until it, like, until he, uh, you know, rebooted so he can freaking destroy it when it was on, because he didn't see any sense of breaking something that wasn't broken, but that was already broken. Um, so then freaking uh, G-U-N gets a hold of uh, uh, 
Omega is like, hey, you get, you should join us. Also, let us hold on to that so we can use it to destroy more Eggman robots. And Omega's kind of like, okay, well, as long as it's helping in the crusade of, you know, destroying anything related to Eggman, sure. And so, you know, the events of Sonic, or the events of Shadow the Hedgehog happen, what I'm talking about, it's basically just this fan story, like this What If series. Shadow the Hedgehog happens, Shadow joins GUN, and it's, the story is basically, like, mainly focusing on, like, the events that take place during the Sonic games, but on, like, Shad like Team Dark's end, you know what I mean? But with, like, the twist of uh, Metal Sonic, who was rebuilt and reprogrammed by GUN, and repainted and created uh, Gunmetal, which was... I, I drew him up here, I'll show you. But I really like Gunmetal, like, I... I, uh, I'm not huge on, like, fan characters, but I really do love Gunmetal. I'll show you, uh, I'll show you here. Give me a second. This, wait, here he is. This is my, this is my sketch of Gunmetal that I did on my computer. This is Gunmetal. Check him out, dude. He's awesome. I love Gunmetal. So he's got the G-U-N logo and everything. He's freaking sick. I love him. And then I also did a comparison of him next to normal metal. So, there's that. But the reason why he doesn't look so, like, decked out in, like, all the mechanics of, like, modern metal Sonic is because, like, I, I love the, like, the consistency idea that this model... Because if you look in Sonic Heroes, it's that same exact mo Excuse me. Same exact model of metal Sonic from the Sonic Adventure era. So, like, before he got, like, his major upgrade where he had, like, the, the lower torso, the extra, like, ridges in his arms and stuff like that. He was a much more simple design, where it was just, like, a ball body, and, you know. So, yeah, dude, freaking gunmetal. So, he's pretty cool. I love his color scheme, too. Like, I just, I, I love gunmetal. I love him. I want to make a gunmetal someday. Maybe. I, I redrew him on uh, pencil and paper uh, recently that, you know, looks more like his um, Sonic Adventure style. I'd say Gunmetal is less of a what-if and more of a side story since nothing in his story con uh, contradicts what was canon, so I'd say it fits. Also based best. <laughs> he be green, exactly. Well, okay, I would say it is a what-if, because even though it ties into the main timeline, in my opinion, I don't see it as headcanon. It's more of just, like, a what-if side story. Um, but they didn't get, they get into all kinds of, like, plot points, dude. Like, um, they, they hear, like, hints about Eggman's trying to plan, like, the next big thing, and in order to, like, figure out, they decide to, like, go hunt down some old Eggman bases, and since either all of them are under severe lockdown or are completely destroyed to the point of no uh, return, uh, G Wen tries to hack into the computers of the um, the uh, destroyed egg carrier from Sonic Adventure One, right? So they they go out to the egg carrier trying to find out, like, because um, it's still floating. It's still floating in the ocean. So they go to the egg carrier, and um, they find uh, they find the computer room. And, um, you know, they figure out what he's trying to plot. But at the same time of doing this, they find the, the remains of Gamma and uh, Beta. Along with, uh, like, they, they find the remains of Gamma, Beta, and Zero. And um, so, basically... Gamma was probably the one who was, even though he exploded, just for the sake of this timeline, his body was mostly intact, right? So they couldn't rebuild, um, they couldn't fully rebuild, um, Beta for the most part. Like, they could only build him so that way he could, like, respond to certain points, but he couldn't, like, be the same machine he was before. Zero was completely dead. 
Um, they just keep him around for Eggman uh, robot parts. So, like, if Gunmetal gets damaged, if Gamma gets damaged, but they basically um, whip up Gamma back into good shape and put in a new battery so that way he doesn't have to be controlled, or so that way he doesn't have to be powered up by a bird or an animal. So they put in an uh, artificial battery and uh, he, he joins the team. So he, so it, like, the whole, like, the whole, like, Team Dark, like, the whole crew is uh, Shadow, Rouge, Omega, Gamma, and Gunmetal. And I, that's the thing I kind of have set up. But there's a point in, like, the freaking story, like, that I have set up where it's, like, in my head, where the new Metal Sonic, where he has his whole new redesign... Um, his goal, like, he, his mission, his first mission is to go chase after, uh, Gunmetal, because Eggman hates the idea of, um, them using his best work against him, and also wants his, uh, top fighting robot back in his possession. So he basically just made this, uh, Metal Sonic to be faster uh, but equally as strong without the ability of uh, shape-shifting and turning into Neo because he doesn't know how to... Like, he can't recreate that without um, gunmetal because gunmetal was kind of a one-shot thing. So, Metal Sonic and gunmetal fight, and Metal Sonic finds a way to restore gunmetal's memories, and he turns back into Neo. And, um... Neo basically, um, and this is like a good like few months or so. This is a good few months or so after they came, became a team. So I'd say like, um, I would say like uh, probably six months after you know the whole team Dark assembled. And so keep in mind, Gunmetal still has his free thinking, but he has his missions as well. So. He has, at this point in time, a camaraderie, like, a relationship with his crew. Like, you know, Omega, Rouge, and Shadow. And Shadow and him, like, they relate quite a bit because Gunmetal kind of has this arc where he also is trying to find his memories and Shadow kind of connects with him on that, where he's like, I know it's hard trying to uh, find out who you are, but it's good having people uh, to help you out with it. You know what I mean? Why doesn't Eggman want the E series robots back? Also loving this, uh, dude. So, whenever Metal Sonic or Gunmetal turns Neo again, he kind of like factory resets into that uh, destroy everybody and like also hate Sonic and try to be better than him kind of thing. But isn't until like Team Dark intervenes, they talk to Neo, remind him of like. You know, you don't have to live in Sonic's shadow with, like, before Robotnik made you instantly as a copy of Sonic. You know what I mean? Neo hates Eggman. So, yeah, in Sonic Heroes, he did. But, like, Neo at this point is thinking, okay, well, now that I got my memories back, Robot, like, Eggman can not only keep me going, like, keep me fixed up and anything bad happens, but also I can use him to get to Sonic faster. But then, at that point, um, Shadow is basically, like, um, once they, you know, confront Neo and Metal Sonic, because there, there are two Metal Sonics at this point, right? Um, there's Neo Metal, and then there's also uh, freaking... Oh, wait, hold up. <laughs> this dude, this guy right here, this guy, dude. This freaking... This is the one I'm talking about, right? So this is the new model, but... Um, so... Metal and Neo are, like, heading over to Eggman's base, but um, Team Dark intervenes and Shadow confronts, and they fight a little bit and get pretty roughed up. Hey, what's up, Sonic Jr.? What's up, buddy? Good to see you again. Um, but Shadow basically was like... Um, we understand the struggle, because Neo didn't forget Gunmetal. He didn't, like, lose his memories as Gunmetal. He still has them. 
It's just now he's he's regained this hatred for Sonic. So, um, so I don't have the time to watch. I just wanted to come and say, hey, I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. But, um, uh, Shadow, Rouge, and Omega, since they already, like, established a friendship, will you ever make a cream plush? At some point, maybe, yeah. I'd say so. But since they established a friendship, like a camaraderie, um, they talk it out, and they're just like, you don't have to be Sonic's um, you don't have to be Sonic's double anymore. You can be your own person if you stay with us. And they're basically like, you don't have to be a tool uh, for GUN if that's how you feel. You can be your own person and we can help you become who you want to be. And Shadow is especially strong on this because he knows what that is like. Um, so he's really like talking to Metal Sonic as if he freaking, like, gun metal as if he's been in his situation, because he has. And after some, like, strong words from everybody, um, Neo kind of takes another step back and looks and realizes that he doesn't have to be, um, you know, a copy of Sonic. He can be his own person. And so he turns back into gun metal but as he accepts who he is, who, you know, being gunmetal, this dude right here sees that he freaking, like, freaking metal, sees that gunmetal has, you know, switched back to his old ways and initiates plan B where he rips out uh, Neo's, or he rips out Gun's chest uh, part that help, that's, has the piece that helps him transform into Neo. And he absorbs it, and leaving uh, Gunmetal dead on the floor, basically. So I want to, I want to, like I want to do something with this. And then he turns into freaking, he turns into like this freaking. I drew it a while ago, but he turns into like this big, like it's like a fusion. It, it's like a design fusion of like Metal Overlord, the freaking dragon, and also just Neo Metal. It's like just like a, a smaller version of Metal Overlord, but like the equally as strong. What are you talking about? I'm, I'm talking about this, um, like this what if story I came up with. And, um, I, I don't, I, I don't know how it happened. At some point they had the Master Emerald. I forgot about that. I think like, oh, that's right. I, I completely forgot one detail. Freaking, whenever, um, Metal and Neo reunited, they went to Angel Island and overpowered Knuckles and stole the Master Emerald because that was a part of Eggman's plan was he was going to take over the world with, you know, gunmetal and, well, Neo and uh, metal. But uh, they confronted him. I'm sewing. I've been sewing this whole time. I've just been talking. <laughs> but, um, basically, yeah, dude, like just, they had the Master Emerald. And so, Shadow... Okay, so... What? I, I still haven't come up with the name for that freaking hybrid of Neo and... You know, Neo and, uh, Overlord. But, um... You know, I was thinking something like Neo Metal Overlord, something like that. So, I was thinking something like that, but, you know. Neo Overlord, there you go. That's good. So Neo Overlord uh, confronts, you know, has a freaking Neo Geo Metal, <laughs> Neo Maximum. I kind of like Neo Overlord. It's simple, but it works because like it, it's like it freaking the freaking fusion of the two forms. Um, but it's like this really cool design that I drew up. Um, he has like this. He has the tail and everything on his back. That it, like twirls. It's freaking awesome. I drew it up on Twitter, uh, but it was from a while ago. I gotta, like, actually find... Actually, I think it's somewhere in this sketchbook that I just have laying here. If I can find it, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. I drew it up. Like, it was pretty freaking sick. I don't know if it's in here, but we're about to find out, right? Uh, da -da 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 
Oh, there's gunmetal. Okay, I think this is the wrong sketchbook, but whatever, dude. Yeah, it's not in here. Is it? <laughs> okay, yeah, it's not in here. Yeah, no. Okay, that's fine. Uh, oh, there's another drawing of uh, gunmetal, though, in here. Uh, if you guys want to see that, check this out. There he is. That's the that's the proper design of gunmetal. So it's hard to see, but yeah, dude. Um, it's like the adventure style. I just gotta like sketch it better. <laughs> um, but yeah, dude. Um, they have the Master Emerald, and basically, as they're trying, hence trying to fight um, Neo Overlord. Um, he smacks the heck out of Omega, like, to the point where he's in critical damage. Same with, um, uh, Shadow and Rouge, and they're about to lose, but Omega in, you know, such just rage that he, that a freaking Eggman robot ha a freaking took him out and his comrades, he sees the Master Emerald, which is, like, he sees the Master Emerald is just, like, feet away from him. Like, very, like, not far at all from him. So, as Neo Overlord is distracted, Omega goes, uh, goes and absorbs the power of the Master Emerald and goes Super Omega. And freaking, they brawl it out. That's, that's literally all I have right now, like, in my head. I want to draw this out. I really want to draw this out. But, like... It's, like, such a fun idea that I've had for so long. And, uh, they battle it out. And because Omega is fighting Neo Overlord with the Master Emeralds... <laughs> Since he's using the Master Emeralds power where uh, Neo Overlord is just using the power of the Neo Metal software and uh, his own upgrades, it's just made that hybrid power. Um, but, like, you know, time me out for five minutes. What do you mean? But, yeah, like, Omega overpowers uh, Neo Overlord. And, uh, okay, you sure? Yeah, uh, one of my mods can take care of it. Well, because if you time out, I don't... It's... Yeah. Okay. I mean, if you want to. <laughs> but, um... Like, there's just a lot. There's a lot that I thought of just with this. I want to do so much with it. Oh, but... Now, here, here is one of the... Here's one of the cool parts that I thought of, right? When that plan fails, um... Eggman is like, okay, well, that failed. Moving on to my next plan. And basically what is it he he moves on to the next plan and looks for you know he's like maybe i should take some advice like he he's kind of stuck on what he should do so he's like maybe i should like research some of my grandfather's freaking you know his past discoveries and then he discovers something about uh, in his grandfather's uh, files on the Ark, he discovers something about, like, the, the, um, what is it? What is it called? The freaking, um, artificial chaos. Like, you know, the freaking, um, the mecha chaoses from Sonic Adventure 2. He discovers that and is like, that's not a bad idea, but what's this? And he sees some files, something about Solaris. Uh, and that kind of like it's a nod at like um, Sonic 06 but from what he says in the files the people of um, Solaria is that what it's called? Solaria? It, what, what's freaking the town of Sonic 06 what's that place called? Solaria? what's it called? Um, anyways he Soliana yeah so, uh, so, uh, Selena Soliana. So he discovers that the scientists of Soliana uh, failed this project in bringing Solaris 
back to life. And he's like, well, those guys are buffoons. What if I just try it out? Like, what if I give it a shot? And so he tries to recreate Solaris. And Sonic um, hears about this and warns Shadow because Sonic still has his memories from Sonic 06. It's kind of confirmed uh, in Team Sonic Racing that he remembers. Um, he warns Shadow that this is actually, this w will be catastrophic and that he needs to put a stop to it. But Sonic is kind of dealing with his own thing. Um, which I haven't thought of yet. But they stop Eggman. Well, okay, so Eggman is actually going to Soliana to find out more about it. And something, something, something. They stop Eggman. And as he received the files from the Soliana labs, where everything happened uh, and failed, he discovers the Gaia manuscripts leading into Sonic Unleashed. So I wanted to make something that loops into the main timeline again, just to keep the consistency. So that's where he got the idea for Sonic Unleashed. So he, he discovered that they were researching it and that, uh, you know, Dark Gaia is awakened every, like, what is it, freaking thousand years, a few thousand years or whatever? And he's like... Maybe I can tap into its power and freaking awaken it early on. So that's all I have right now. Hey, it's Angel. Welcome. So I was just like, the, I, I, we were just talking about like a story type thing. But right now I just finished... Uh, sticking it's uh just whipping up this uh here give me a second i just gotta finish stuffing and trimming give me a second i'm making the um antenna right now there we go so we got that that little fella i don't know if it's too big though let's see that should actually work um let's see here i don't know maybe that's too big we'll see I don't know. What do you think? Okay, here, Angel. Since I got you here, I'm gonna put a pin here, and I want you to. I want you to tell me what you think so far. So, do you think this antenna is too big on the head? What do you think? What do you think? So yeah, th this is what I got so far. I didn't sew the arms on yet, uh, but the arms are made. So we got those, and also, where is it? I just had it. Uh, there it is. I also uh, stitched together, I'd say that's the right size. Perfect, okay, so I'll make two of those, and I'll paint on the blue te uh, details after, and I'll sew them on. Uh, but I also made the halo, and I haven't sewn it on yet because I wanna get the, like every bit of the face details done first. This is this is the last part. I'm, I'm saving the halo for last because I want all the details on first before anything else. So. But yeah, I got the halo done, and uh, when I'm ready, I'm just going to basically have that T on the wire there, and I'm just going to stick it in through there and ladder stitch around it, and the halo should be there. So, yeah, dude. It's good to see you. We're working, we're working pretty hard on this. <laughs> I'm glad that this turned out good. I'm glad that this is the right size. So, yeah. But yeah, I did do some adjustments on the, <laughs> thank you. I did do some adjustments on the body template. You can see it's much uh, thicker than a uh, blanket here. I got blanket, he's looking a little flat on the body and I noticed that when I finished him. So I fixed the template, looks much better, but yeah, dude, before I forget, my Sonic shell will need a halo. <laughs> okay, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But, um, okay, so now I got one built up. Can we listen to the Sonic Hero soundtrack? Yeah, dude, absolutely. If I can find my remote, there you are. Boo! Give me a second, chat. So I think I'm only going to work on the antenna, get those painted up, and then we're going to call it a stream since it's already 10-something. How's everyone doing? 
I'm doing great. I had a great time uh, going out and getting my fabric. We had a fabric. Well, I went and got a supply run just a little bit ago. Hold on a second. Uh, Sonic Heroes. Oh, I see. There we go. But yeah, I got a bunch of new fabric. Check this out, right? Um, so because I got paid today, I had a higher budget and they, everything was on sale. So I got a bunch of stuff. I got this normal pink uh, for other characters that I need. Um, I bought more red because it can never run out of red. I bought a yard of this new black, which I never had black in the Antico plush fleece that I use. So this should be good for using stuff. I got this cream yellow for super silver or super shadow. And I bought this purple because, uh, you know, this should this should help out with uh, certain characters. I kind of feel bad because I this is like the perfect purple for uh, Roxy, and I feel like I should st I feel like I should remake the arms with this purple, but I don't know. Like, <laughs> I I really like this purple, but we'll see what we'll see what happens. Oh, and then lastly, I also got this um. I got this uh, fabric right here, which is for Nana, uh, because this is the pink. This is the pink that I'm using for Nana, and then that's that's gonna be for the highlights. So I like the purple you use. Oh, okay, perfect. So yeah, dude, that's uh, that's what I'm gonna be using. So I got a lot of stuff, and then also I got a bunch of wires. I got my wires for my joints. I got two packs, and I also got some doll stands but those are over there i'll show those off later <laughs> but yeah dude i had a great uh was it? oh okay i'm glad you think so great that's awesome um now where's my uh there it is okay so i'm gonna go ahead and trace the template onto the fabric again because i still gotta add the second one i only made the one because I just wanted to test the template to see if it was okay. Um, but now, it should be good. Now, where's my mark? Okay, there we go. I'm having so much fun with it. Like, legit, I've never made a chow before, and this is, like, so much fun. This is great. Give me a second. I'm just gonna add this here. I'm just drawing out the template real quick. freaking hot in here man I gotta like turn my fan on or something but then if I do that freaking fabric and paper is gonna fly in my face so that's gonna be funny a hero parade okay and now on the white there we go sonic hero <laughs> Give me a second. Okay. I'm having so much fun with this, dude. Legit. Like this is this is helping me learn so many new things about like smaller characters and like making smaller templates without like making them too small to the point of them not working. But yeah, this is this is awesome, man. I'm having I'm having a great time with this. <laughs> you have boxes in your room. Where? Where do I have boxes? This box. I have this box specifically. This is empty, but I have this specifically for when I ship out Android 21 tomorrow. So 21 over here. There she is. Right there. So she's cool. On the wall. Oh. Yeah, those are the bendies. Those are the Sonic bendies. Well, except for this. Okay, this one that I'm pointing at right here, that is the Sir Lancelot shadow. And then on top of them right here, that is the GameStop exclusive Green Hill Zone bendy Sonic that was very on the down low and was barely like barely mentioned at all. Like the only reason why I knew about it is because I was working at GameStop when I saw it. 
How much would a Kirby commission be? Not much at all, really. I mean, Kirby's pretty simple. Depends on how big he is, though. Um, but here, uh, hold on. Actually, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Check this out. So, this guy... Hold up. So this is the GameStop exclusive, and the funny thing is, is that it's an exclusive, but he doesn't have an exclusive, like, GameStop sticker anywhere. But this thing is, this thing is neat because it has, like, the freaking, like, you could spin the freaking Green Hill Zone course. It's funny. I, I thought it was cute, so I bought it. But, um, yeah, putting him back. So yeah, I got Lancelot, and then I got a bunch of the Bendies. I'm missing a couple. I think I'm missing Supersonic, Metal, Eggman. No, I have Eggman. He's right over there, like behind 21. You can probably see the box sticking behind her a little bit, but... <laughs> I love that box. Like, that's the only thing that makes him exclusive, though, is the box. And it's like 22 bucks when I bought it, which is double the price, which is pretty goofy to me. But, oh well. I bought it, so... I can't say anything. But, anyway, moving on. Okay, so this shouldn't take too long. It didn't take long before. I was just talking too much. All the odds. We can make it if we all stick together. It'll be all right. We do, 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 do. I want to get the posable Eggman, though. I was at Target earlier, and they had it, and I was thinking of getting it, but I didn't. Is that Black Knight Shadow the gray one or the purple one? It's the gray one, the first release. The better-looking one, the more accurate one. <laughs> um, yeah, I remember I remember seeing, like, they made the purple one because it was supposed to be, like, an updated, like, fixed version of the gray one, but it didn't fix anything. Like, it just made the paint job worse. I remember, too, when I was a kid, and I found that at... Uh, Toys R Us. Um, they had so many Chow like a what like a couple like a year or two ago. Um, the Tommy Chow. They had like the the regular one and the 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 evil one at my Target, and I never picked it up for whatever reason, and I regret it now because I love Chow now. Like legit, I feel stupid. <laughs> but oh well. I want the dark chow. I, it's not too pricey on eBay right now, I guess, but you know, it's definitely more pricey than it used to be. Hold up, there we go. There we go, trim, trim, trim. Now, where's the... There it is. Got it. I got classic GE Sonic and Knuckles. Hey. Hey, Luigi. Welcome, uh, welcome back. Good to see you. We're working on Roxy, and she's turning out pretty good. Working on the antenna right now. Where's the needle thread again? There it is. Found it. Cool. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, so now we're going to get to stitching. I also have this really cool old Bowser plush that I need to uh, retrieve from my cat's lair. I bought my dark, uh, dark Chow in stores, and comparing the eBay price, thirty bucks is retail price. Wait, he's only he was thirty bucks. I didn't know he was thirty bucks. I thought he was like twenty or something. Huh. Ooh, uh, um, so one thing I did do, mine was twenty bucks. I gotta go hunting because there's there's a couple of targets in my area. I gotta go. Look, I gotta go look around. I went to the one nearest to me, but I'm going to have to go to the one, like, a few miles away from me. Um, but, what was I saying? 
Um, I can't remember what I was. Th oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I picked up a couple things on eBay today. Um, I got. What did I get? Hold up, I gotta look back. So I finished my set, my uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 25th anniversary set. Well, okay, the the normal size ones, like the. Uh, what size are they? You know, the same one as Knuckles, that set. Um, my cousin, for my birthday, got me the Eggman. Uh, it's not here yet, but uh, he ordered it for me uh, for my birthday. So I freaking, I'm super excited for that. But these are all coming from China, so, you know, it's going to take some time. And before you say anything... These are official. They're completely official. It's just uh, they're from the Chinese factories. And uh, I guess it was a lot of back stock from the Tomy factory and uh, like the manufacturers. And a lot of the employees were given the rest of the stock and now they're selling it. So they are official. They don't have their tag. They're brand new. Um, it's just that they never received their tag or were released. So, you know. Um, but yeah, I got so apparent. Okay, so I got Sonic and Tails because I missed. I was missing the Tails, so I got him. Here he is. Hold up. Give me a second. I'll show you. It is neat, right? Hang on a second. So I got this guy. There he is. He's pretty cool. He's apparently the rarest, but I picked him up earlier today. It's going to take some time for him to get to my home, but he'll be here. Then I got Sonic. Give it some time. Uh, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. There he is. There's Sonic. And I got the Eggman. Um, so that'll be coming in soon. And then, very lastly, same story. Same story with the backstock. Apparently... They found a bunch of backstock of some Jazzwares plushies in China. And this little cutie was there. So I never had her, so I picked her up as well. So, same story. Uh, new, no tag, uh, but it's all good. Is that the uh, Sonic? Or the, the Sonic or the, it's the anniversary one. Yeah, dude, look how cheap she is, too. Look, look. 16 bucks free shipping. 1602 free shipping right now, dude. Definitely look into it. It's freaking worth it. Oh, and then there's the Eggman. That one's coming in. So, that's cool. I love him. And then, I can send you the listing if you want, Angel. Oh, and then lastly, I... Okay, so I've been thinking about getting this one, but I don't really see much point since I still have mine from childhood. Actually, oh yeah. I still have mine from childhood, but here's this guy as well. Same story, backstock. However, it seems like this one was tagged. But not only was he tagged, he was tagged with the wrong tag. Look at that. So, I'm very interested in that. I'll go ahead and send you the... Here, hold on. Let me see if I can send you the listing. Share this item. Okay, I got you. Don't worry. I'll send it to you right away. <laughs> Copy. I got you. Hold up. I'm gonna show you. Yeah, she's like really cheap. And I think it's great. Here you go. I sent it. There you go. <laughs> so, cool. Now, give me a second. I gotta make sure everything's good. Oh, dude. Okay, so uh, Lightning wanted me to show, or Rose wanted me to show this on stream, his shelf. Oh, I love that you got them standing next. To, that's a nice spot. So he has them on the shelf right there. That's really cool. Hang on. Let me see if I can zoom in better so it's a clear look. Yeah, look at them. They're just chilling. I love that. Man, I miss those guys, man. <laughs> I miss my sons, but it's okay because I'm making more. 
there's there's stuff I feel like I could touch up on with uh, Metal Sonic, so we'll see what happens. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, enough screwing around. Let's uh, get back to stitching here. But yeah, dude, I love I love seeing that kind of stuff. There's um the 25th anniversary Jumbo Sonic, the classic Sonic, the Jumbo one, that was originally like 20 bucks, I think, like 25, 25 or something. Um, he's on there as well, and he has um a Sonic Boom tag, like Tush tag. So that's pretty cool. I love that. And he's like, I think, $25 on eBay. So he's exact retail price. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, dude, exactly. See, I don't really, I don't like bootlegs. To me, they're pretty cheap and stuff. But whenever it's actual factory releases such as that, or if it's like original bootleg characters, such as like the, um, like Dark Bowser or King Koopa, you know, like how there's all those different Bowser variants that we would nor never normally get a normal plush of. I appreciate those. I think it's cool. So. Yeah, really cool. I still want to get Dark Bowser. He's cheap too, but I gotta wait. That is the correct opinion. Yes. <laughs> okay. I was thinking of uh, making Sonic's Cuffs on tonight's stream, but I'm going to save that for Sunday. I want to focus on this right now. I got a busy day tomorrow. I got to go to work um, from 2.30 to 9 p.m. So, I have a classic Eggman plush with his arms crossed. Oh yeah, that one. I remember that. Whoever made King Loops is an absolute legend. King Loops. Zoinks. I had a fun day out, man. We went to, um... We went to PetSmart because we had to get some uh, cat litter. Um, it was me and my cousin. He was driving around, but um, we were hanging out for some time. We went to PetSmart. We went to Target and then Michael's because I had to get more wire. And then after that, we went to uh, Joanne's and uh, got a bunch of stuff. He bought me he bought me all my supplies because uh, he was like for my birthday. He's like, here's an early birthday gift, dude. Like, I wanted to do more for you, but you know, I I could if if I can help you with your plush making, then I feel like that'd be great. I was like, oh, dude, you're awesome. Why would you switch out a dime for a penny? I don't know. But yeah, dude, I had a fun I had a fun day. Yeah, dude, I have many plans. I have many, many plans. So, now, I want to look. Are they playing the same song? What's up with this one? Opening. Okay, this is the opening. So, I want to check out something. I want to compare this color to this. Okay, so uh, here's what I'm thinking, right? This purple that I bought would be great for Blaze's um, hair. Like the, the highlight, like the darker purple highlights in her hair. Um, but then like purple like this, where it's darker, would be perfect for the dress. So. It's funny, I didn't think I would, um... This is my custom Sonic character, totally not stolen. Yeah, dude. I got all the pick, uh, pieces cut out for the face of my SA2 tail flush. Hey, that's awesome. Um, yeah, dude. I didn't think I would be working on a blaze so early on. 
I feel like I would have made so many other characters before her, but I'm just like, I'm excited. <laughs> just see, just buying that fabric got me wanting to make Blaze. So, it's funny. Ah, uh, here we go. We're getting into the levels. This is the stuff I love. Do 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 ba ba da da do 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 we do 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 we do 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 do. It now, it would be a major help if I could find my Jazzwares figure because I had the Jazzwares blaze somewhere in my closet, either in my closet or a box from my childhood figures or in my figure drawer. I gotta dig it out because it would be a major help. Try watching the stream of yours if you're still streaming. Okay, sure thing. Oh, uh, you heading out, Luigi? It was good to see you, buddy. Bye. Um, but yeah, dude. Um, I'm just excited for a bunch of characters. Uh, Whisper is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm excited to make a new silver. I can't wait to make silver right now, dude. Like, legit, I'm so hyped for silver. Like, I don't know why. I just love silver so much now. I used to hate them. But now I love them. Well, I wouldn't say hate. I would say he was never interesting to me. Where are the GE Sonic plushies you have? I have GE Sonic, Metal Sonic, Shadow, and then a little Baby Sonic right up here. Not Baby Sonic, but just a little tiny one. And, oh, and my uh, Sonic X Knuckles. So, yeah, dude. Exactly, dude. Well, I want to, like, clear out my um, dresser, like, the space on my dresser just a little bit. At least so that way I can display all my Sonic characters when they're done. One thing's for sure, though. I am going to have to remake Omega because he is way too big. Like, Omega is GE plush scale. Not my not my plush scale. So, I will finish this guy. I will finish the one I'm working on, but he is going to be uh, for a different thing. He's, he'll be for GE plush scale. Nothing wrong with two Omegas. Exactly, dude. I love them. Whenever we were talking about freaking um, an Omega Chow, I freaking was brainstorming. I was like, how would that look? And I quickly drew it up like super late at night because I, I couldn't get it out of my mind. And I freaking love him. I love what I came up with. He's adorable. <laughs> He's awesome. I would love to see a Gamma Chow and a Metal Chow. I've seen a couple of, like, fan Metal Chows, but, like, I'm not sure. They don't exactly look the best, you know what I mean? I feel like you would do a better job at, like, drawing up a good look for them. <laughs> like, okay, I, I gotta, like, tilt my camera down a tad bit, because, like, I've been, I have been sewing this whole time, and I bet none of you have seen it. So, oops. Now I could move it closer to the camera. <laughs> um, start working on your birthday art. Also, it might be a little bit late. Sorry. Oh, dude, it's okay. You don't have to do anything. It's fine. I appreciate just a happy birthday, man. You finished Gamma's base head. Hey. Dude, like, I'm not even kidding, man. Whenever you said we should do a, a plush collab thing, like an art trade, I was so hyped up for that. Like, I was so excited. Because I, I don't know if I've ever told you, but, like, I've always admired your work for, like, such a long time. And, like, 
whenever we talked about it, I was just really excited for it. So, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Hold up. Hey, I got a message. Dude, what? That is incredible. Okay, so something Sonic related just sent me an image of what he's currently working on. I don't know, okay, so Sonic related, I'm not gonna show it without your permission. Cause I because I noticed that you only teased it just a tiny bit on Twitter, so I don't wanna I don't wanna spoil it. Okay, so like if you want to show it at the very end of when it's done, then I will I will definitely honor that. You can show it. Okay, so chat, check this out. So something Sonic related is currently working on a gamma plushie, if you didn't know on Twitter. And so far this is what he has. Check this out, dude. Look at that! Hold up, wait, the freaking reflection. Let me turn the brightness all the way down so Look at him! He's freaking sick. Oh, wait, hold up. Do that. That's better. He's freaking awesome! That is so cool! I love him so much. Dude, you're doing such a great job, man. Holy crap. I love this. I love this. It is so good. <laughs> this is so cool. Man, now I want to make a camera. <laughs> Man, that is incredible, dude. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, dude, did you guys see that freaking new Sonic uh, IDW cover with the, the Chow Race? Have you guys seen that? So I, I retweeted this, but, like, that cover has a freaking SpongeBob reference, if y'all didn't know. Look, okay, so check this out, right? I think I retweeted... Here it is. Here's the page... This is the cover, right? This is the cover. And if you zoom in, it shows like a bunch of chow. Like it's it's a start of a chow race, right? So there's a bunch of chow getting ready to race. And if you zoom in over here on number, like the chow in the number eight spot, it's a, it's a chow with number eight and a rock head. And that's a SpongeBob reference because it's freaking Rocky from SpongeBob, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I thought that was the coolest thing. I thought that was hilarious. Also, the Sonic and Shadow Chow just kind of... <laughs> but yeah, freaking Rocky. That's amazing. I love that. This freaking Spongebob. I thought that was hilarious. Uh, so... Ugh. I love it. Yeah, dude. I love... Dude. Wait. Let me just say how amazing koalas look in the Sonic art style. I love... Yeah, dude. I love it. I love koalas. Koalas in general are freaking awesome, but, like, the Sonic koalas are pretty cool. <laughs> I love, okay, so again, like on this topic, I absolutely love Sonic IDW. I, I love what they're doing. <laughs> like, the, the comic series is just pure gold. It's incredible. It's incredible how they fixed like almost every character. Emphasis on almost. And it's not, it's not the writer's fault that Shadow is terrible. They literally had to legally make Shadow a freaking Vegeta copy. And it's the same writer, it's the same writer from uh, Archie Comics, from the Archie Comics, and like, some of the same writers from the Archie Comics, and someone did a comparison, like, the same writer from one of the Archie Comics, uh, Sonic and Shadow are talking, and then Sonic's like, cool, I'll race you, and then he runs off. And Shadow is kind of like, he kind of has that, like, 
that smile of like this guy you know you could tell he's kind of like enjoying hanging out with sonic a little bit you know what i mean and i love that but now he's just a freaking fool who i don't like too much Wait, there are volume collections for the um, IDW comics? Because if so, I want those. <laughs> Baby bottle pop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly, dude. So, like, the, the freaking gimmick it's like sonic's the cocky younger brother and shadow's like the chill older one but he still likes hanging out with his little bro that was like how it was set up okay this is gonna be a tight squeeze hold up i gotta focus okay that's good sorry i i barely th like barely had enough thread to tie this knot and I had I kind of had to focus like quite a bit there because it was pretty tricky but yeah dude I love Archie comics dude or not Archie <laughs> Archie comics are okay but they're too complicated in my opinion um but no I love the IDW comics so much love them I can't get enough of them I want to buy them I want them I love this song, dude. Do, 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 do. Shout out to the homie Radical Soda. <laughs> it's Grand Metropolis. Remembers that guy. He hasn't uploaded in a minute. You can buy them on Amazon. Hoggers. I'm trying to un like flip this out. I hear frogs. You have you hear, you hear frogs, dude? It's pretty cool. <laughs> Froggy. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm flipping it inside out, very gently. There we go, got it, okay. Now I get the stuffing, dish stuff. I gotta kinda even it out here. Roll it and then make it right. I've been playing a lot of um, the Sonic Forces mobile game. Uh, what's it called? Sonic Forces Battle or something like that? Um, I got Whisper, and uh, I've been I've been nonstop playing as Whisper. I haven't gotten Tangled yet, uh, Tangle yet, and uh, I even when I do get her because they put they put Tangle and Whisper in the general pool, uh, so that way like you can actually pull them. I prefer Dash, to be honest. I, you know, Dash is good, but I feel like I got bored of it. Um, I have, I have more fun with, um, Forces. The mobile game, not the actual game. The actual game is terrible. <laughs> um. Okay, now. For Rainbow Dash. Huh? What is happening? Oh, I get it. That's a that's a meme. Is that too stuffed compared to the other one? It is. Hold up. That's a My Little Pony joke. Yes, it is. I noticed. Sometimes I like rolling it out because it evens out, like, it flattens the stuffing to kind of push out a little bit um 
That one's a bit more stuffed. I gotta fix this. Hold up. Maybe I just... Give me a second chat. I gotta see what I gotta do here. I see what I gotta do. Let me kind of fish out the stuff in here. What stuffing do I use? Um, I'm not exactly sure the name. I lost the original bag. I, I keep it... I keep my stuffing in this really specific bag. Sometimes I, like, go out. Like, I don't know why, but I find it better to go out and buy, like, a, a body pillow at Walmart. Uh, not the not the anime kind, but just a base body pillow at Walmart. Which is roughly the same price, possibly a little cheaper than, like, the same amount of stuffing in a bag. Um, but, like, I've been on this same body pillow uh, of stuffing. It's, like, I bought it brand new literally just for stuff, like, just for the stuffing. And it helps. I don't know what, I don't know what kind of stuffing it is, but it's freaking nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know if that's weird. <laughs> but, like, I go out to Walmart and I get I buy pillows just to freaking dissect them and get the stuffing because like you could get like this one pillow that I've had this one freaking pillow I've had for like quite some time I got it at Walmart <laughs> um, I've had it for like a solid few months and it's still like halfway full and I've used it for every custom and every like Thing that I've been working on this entire year, including Omega. Like, it stuffs a lot of characters. It's funny. So, that's what I do. Like, literally just freaking cut a big hole at the top of it and just reach your hand in it and just grab a big freaking clump of it and it works. I love the Sonic Heroes soundtrack, dude. It's freaking sick. Maybe stuff this a little bit more to even it out. Oh, wait, I think I know what's next. Yeah, I was right. There we go. That should be good. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Perfect. That should be right. Yeah. Look at you. How long should it take for Sonic to run around the whole world? I don't know, man. That's a good question. Perfect. Look at those. Those are good. Those are great. So I'm going to paint the blue individually, like on separate pieces here. So like, does this have a center? Yes, it does. So I bought this today. So let me move this here. Sticker. This is what I do. Check this out, right? Wait, actually from the other end. There we go. Okay, so I get uh, my, my uh, spool of thread here. I get one of these stuffing sticks that I have plenty of because I bought so much stuffing in the past I just had these sitting everywhere. Um, so I got two of these, um, different brands, but they both work the exact same. Uh, so I just keep them like that, and then whenever I'm ready to stuff them, or not stuff them, paint them. Actually, right now, good example. Check this out, right? So I go carefully, just kind of, without harming it, get it through there. There we go. So put that there, that one's ready to be painted, second one, <laughs> this is what I did for the chow arms, okay this one definitely needs more stuffing because that one went through too easily, oh well, they, I mean they look the same, so I don't think it does need stuffing actually, it's fine, yeah no no it's all good, okay cool, okay. Now, where is... There it is. So I gotta make... I gotta mix up the paint. Where's my paint? <laughs> I 
Um, where, there it is. Okay, it's hiding behind my laptop. There we go. So I, I, I got a little, I got a little mixture I got going on. So I go ahead and flip these open, and then I just a couple of dips. There we go. Hey Dave, what's up? Nail polished is the best paint I've ever used. And then a couple dips of the white. There we go. And then what's the one paintbrush I like mixing it with? Uh there you are. Okay. I actually gotta rinse this off because it's still like I, I forgot to rinse it off, so I'll be right back. I gotta go get like a cup of hot water. I know I have like a painting cup somewhere. I don't know where it went. I'll get one. I'll go get one. I'll be right back. Give me a second. Be right back. I gotta go grab this cup and some hot water. Come back in. One of my favorite jams is in. It's playing. I gotta start it over. Hold up. I gotta start it over. Hold up. There we go. Okay, we're good. Sonic is moving. Sonic just moved, guys. Oh my god. This is cringe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so I gotta move some stuff here. Give me a second. Preparing the paint real quick. Okay, so since it's hot, nice and hot, the freaking paint is starting to go away. And the brush. Got started on my new project. Is it cool if I send it to you? Sure thing, yeah, absolutely. You just posted cringe. You're going to lose subscriber. I missed that meme. Oh, this is funny. Okay, so now I get my little sheet of... I usually have like a little sheet of fabric that I have so I can wipe off the brush. Like, just like disposed fabric where I can't like do anything with. Okay, so that's good. Perfect. Now the brush is ready. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, mix up the paint real quick. Ooh, this is looking nice. This is a nice mixture. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm cleaning it out because uh, there's still white on the brush from the from mixing it, and I don't want any white on there. I just wanted the light mix, so. We go ahead. There we go. And then wipe it off. Where did the piece go? I just had it. Where'd the piece I just had go? There it is. I have like such short-term memory sometimes, dude. I swear. Good God. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so I just gotta do light strokes. There we go. Just a little bit. We're gonna start. So now, okay, I wanna get a photo real quick. Just so I get the right method of doing this. Oh, it's freaking installing. Hold up. <laughs> Oh, Twitter's updating. No. Come on, man. Okay, there we go. It updated already. Make all you guys do cringe things. Give me a second, chat. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go like this. I got an idea here. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Light brush strokes. Method failed. I gotta try it. So I gotta try something else here. Hold up. I can recover it. Yeah, this should. Okay. Yeah, right? Like, I have Sonic Heroes too. I gotta play it. I have two copies because uh, one of them is, like, scratched all the heck, and I got another one because uh, it's not. I'm gonna have to trim some of this off because sometimes paint is tricky. I like how that, how that ended. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now it's starting to get the right shapes, I think. I hope. If I just keep doing that. I think this is okay so okay so I think I got it I think I got the right idea of what I gotta do for this to get the nice lumpies can't choose whether to watch your stream or the... <laughs> it's up to you man I mean if you if you got a dip I totally get it it's fine but I appreciate you sticking around for as long as you did buddy Okay, it looks a bit messy, but, like, I'm going to trim off some of the edges. Uh, am I still listening? Yes, I'm listening. I got the... I'm getting the right shapes, the ridges. So, that's good. It looks messy at first, but once I get it cleaned up, you'll see. You'll all see. Did 
you know that in Knuckles' file for the OVA, it says he's a mole, meaning OVA Knuckles is a mole. Thank you. Again, I'm doing my best here. I'm, I'm going to have to make a couple fixes here, but... It's okay, Angel. It's perfectly fine. Again, I'm finding, I'm, I'm figuring it out as I'm going. It's looking okay. So look, see, already it's, it's starting. To, it looks a bit messy, but you're seeing the lumps. I am gonna like trim the shapes better because you can actually like trim the paint. I figured it out. Um, but you'll see. But whenever the paint's dry, I'm gonna fix it up more. You'll find out how that's gonna look. That's the first side. I'm glad you think so. I'm starting to run out of paint. I must I I gotta add more paint. Who's game show games? Hang on, maybe if I just like very carefully. <laughs> it's a funny way of holding it, but... Oh, I need my glasses, dude. I... Again, it's when my eyes start to get a tiny... Like, a little tired is when it makes it a little difficult for me to, like, focus. They start to... Like, my eyes start to go out of focus whenever they get tired. So, I gotta put these glasses on. Whenever that happens. Only when that happens, though. Boomer. Yeah, dude. <laughs> I can't see where my glasses. It's funny. Oh, this one's... Uh, compared to the other one, it's looking a bit off. It's not looking bumpy, it's just looking more straight than anything else, but I'll figure a way to fix it. Oh, this is actually okay. I'm kind of getting it now. <laughs> you changed your Twitter name. Okay, cool. I'm starting to get the shape. Ooh, I love Rail Canyon. A piece of fuzz on there. 
Well, that's on the actual brush. Let me, there we go. Get that off. A little piece of fuzz. Hey Logan, what's up? Could you help me spread the word about my reanimated cold light I told you about? Oh, I could try. I don't know how, how far it's gonna spread. But, you know, I could try. Guys, he's doing a Shark Boy and Lava Girl reanimated, dude. Make some noise. Alright. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna get the nice lumpies. Yeah, I gotta add more paint. Okay, so I got this one mostly painted. I am gonna have to do some trimmings, because especially on this side, because it does not look the best. But whenever I get to that point, whenever the paint dries and I start trimming it, it'll look cleaner. So, hopefully. Okay, again, I, I need more paint. So let's go ahead, add more. There. With the white, there. All right, let's see if this mixes up the same color. Almost dropped it. Ooh. The jam. The Jimmy Jam. Perfect. And that's a good amount to so there won't be any short amount missing. So you wipe that cup, uh, that amount. So the big glob. Are you going to bed, man? Alright, dude. I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by, pal. I appreciate it. We're, we're probably done here in a little bit anyways, because uh, it's getting late. What is it? 11.19? 11.18? Is that what time it is? Hold up. Yeah, it's 11.19. I was pretty close. Sorry, my, my uh, computer clock is set up different and no matter how many times I fix it it always sets back like seven minutes seven or eight I don't know how much okay now on this one Yeah, but there's, I still gotta make some phone calls to some friends about stuff. And plus, they want to play Fall Guys, so... When the guys want to play Fall Guys, you can't turn them down.
Oh, that's already looking better than this one. That's for sure. That's looking, dude, look how nice and clean that's looking so far. It's hard to tell, but it's already looking like the nice lumps. It'll look even cleaner whenever I trim it. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, because to me it still looks pretty messy, but you know, I'm doing my best here. Set a work in progress for the birthday art. Oh, I'll check that out in just a second. Chow's going good. Hey, that's awesome. I'd love to see it. I like this song. It's pretty epic. It's pretty epic, dude. Just doing the body. Also, Sans is done. Hey, this is the first Roxy plush I'll, I'll have, aside from what I made when I was ten. So, hey, oh, that I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that. Honestly, like that helps. That helps quite a bit. That's awesome. Did you know that Chuck E. Cheese's used to be called Chunky, wait, Chuck E. Cheese's Pizza Time Theater? Yes, actually, I do know about that. Um, what are angels making for this collab? Oh, um, give me a second, another piece of fuzz. The brush is picking up some of the fuzz. I'm excited for that. I, you know what? I'm liking these lumpies, how they're coming out on this one. Ooh, hold up. When I trim it, I'm going to make it like, I'm going to cut each individual lump, so that way it's nice and clear looking.
almost done with this part. And then we can check on this other one here and see if it's painted or dried up. Because they dry up pretty quick. And if they're not dried up yet, then we can actually move on to something else briefly. Like, say, like, cutting out the templates for either the tail or the uh, wings. Whoa! What's happening? Okay. Okay. Uh, wait. Uh... See, I don't know what it is about this fabric that makes it so tough to paint on, but when I was uh, painting the details on the custom choppy OC from the beginning of the year, there was no issues. Like, it looked the cleanest, and I there was no trimmings needed. So I don't know what's up with that. I just kind of got my finger caught in the paint a little bit there, but it's okay because it didn't smear. But, like, yeah, I don't know if it's because it's a lighter color, but, yeah. Like, not the paint, the fabric. I don't know. But it's all good because I got it. Okay, so both sides are painted officially. So I'm going to depaint the faces. Wait, uh, hang on a second. Depaint the faces one. What do you mean? Faces. Oh, um, I'm gonna paint the faces. Um, I'm probably gonna paint the face on Roxy. Actually, I'm not sure because she has. Pretty big um, eyelash, you know, happy eyelashes. So I could probably use fabric for that, but we'll see what happens. I definitely am probably gonna, I'm, I'm most likely gonna uh, paint the smile. Wanna check out on the artwork? Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Give me a second. Um, Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, I just got a notification on my phone. Okay, um, let me go ahead and check it out real quick. Either way, it's okay. Hey. <laughs> One thing I do want to do is I want to, like, get a very, 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 very light pink. Like, almost white pink and, like, do the, the blush cheeks. Because I think it would look nice. Ugh. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay, cool. Sorry, uh, I just saw um, Dave Miller's uh, template uh, for his plush that he's working on. It looks pretty cool. Uh, okay, what's Moogle got? I gotta turn the brightness down. Good God, it's hurting my eyes. Haha, <laughs> dude, it's freaking dankles. It's rankles. That's funny, dude. Okay. So while that's drawing, I gotta think out. I, I gotta think a way to get the. Hmm. Actually, wait. Oh well. No. 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 That's. Yeah. That's fine. Actually. No. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um. But now I gotta draw out the template for. The wingies! Give me a second. Let me put this aside because I think that's it for the painting at the moment. So. Angel, okay, so hold on. I actually, I want to grab. Where is it? I have this uh, box of paints specifically for these tasks that I want to use. Uh, where did I put them? Give me a second. I want to show you what I got. I have an idea for the, um, the wings. I have this. Hang on. Where did it go? I had a box, of, like a, a 
thin, long box of indivi uh, like individual paints in the right colors for these characters. And I have no idea where I placed them. Like, they're gone. <laughs> they're freaking gone, dude. I'm gonna put my glasses down so I don't freaking trip over and break them. But, okay, so I have a plan for what I want to do with these, uh, for the wings, specifically. And I don't know if you want it throughout the whole plush, but I'm, I'm gonna show you whenever I find it what I'm talking about here. Give me a second. Uh, there it is. I found it. Hold up. My, um, bag of new fabrics was laying on it. Okay, so this right here. So this is, uh, glitter paint. It literally is a clear paint with a teal blue glitter. Um, so I, I did this, I used this with silver uh, on my first silver, and it turned out pretty cool. But I was thinking of adding this into the uh, wings because uh, the gradient thing, that, that like the darker look gradient. So I was thinking of adding that. Um, but yeah, what do you think? What do you think? Because I was... I, I wanted to do it for the wings, but I wasn't sure if I wanted to do it for the rest of the body, like the arms and the, you know, the feet, the antenna. So what do you think? Because this stuff is pretty cool. I, again, I used it for, yeah, dude, exactly. Okay, so we'll definitely do it for the wings. Um, but yeah, so. That's what I have. That's my idea that I got going on for that. So let me put that aside because we're definitely going to use that for sure. Let me check on this one actually because this one's been. Oh, this one's dry. Okay. This one's actually dried out. Okay. So now I'm going to lightly trim some of the excess paint here so it looks cleaner. So far, so good. Getting the messy parts out of the way. I need my glasses again. Hold up. <laughs> it just hit me. My eyes are starting to get like tired and out of focus. So hold up. There we go. Cool. Oh, that's better. And now uh, I'm going to go ahead and shape the lumpies. Since this fabric is very fuzzy, there's a lot of, like, space for trimming. That one is fine. What shirt do you want to be wearing in the drawing? Oh, dude, um, I usually draw myself wearing my red jacket and just a black t-shirt. Sometimes with an NES controller on it, so, you know. Here we go. Let me add on hypersonic chow. So far, so good. As Sonic always says. I'm 
So far, okay, so this is the trimming I got done so far. Already the shape is turning out, like, great. Uh, not much I can do for that edge on the purple, though. I wish I could get rid of that. Let me see if I can... Like... Oh, actually, hold up. Glad you, I'm glad you think so, honestly, because this is, this is, this is looking pretty okay in my eyes, and I'm glad you like it. Okay. One of these days, I really want to commission you for an adventure Sonic and Chaos. I would love to do that, man. Like, you see how my freaking Adventure Sonic I'm making right now looks, dude. I'm really loving how those are coming out. Both of them. Okay. So far, looking nice. Looking nice and clean. Yeah, dude. So, check it out. I already cleaned up this for the most part. Actually, wait, hold on. Almost forgot this edge over here. <sighs> oh, man, I'm sorry. Sorry about that, Moogle. Man. Dang. There. Okay, that's this side trimmed. By the time I'm done trimming this one, that one's going to be dried up and we can trim that one and then call it a night. I will still draw out the templates for the wings, but I'll do that off stream because I do want to get a hold of my friends because they tried calling me. Side is a bit trickier. Hey, it's hey, little Larry. What's up, buddy? Good seeing you. Right now, we're working on a little chow. Little chow chow. And so far, it's looking pretty good. Not bad at all. Hope you're doing good, my guy. I'm doing great, man. I really appreciate it. I, uh, me and my cousin were j uh, hanging out earlier today. Uh, my birthday is, let's see, today's the 21st, four days from today. And for my birthday early on, he gave me, to help me out, he helped me buy a bunch of, uh, fabric. So that way I can work on a bunch of new projects that I'm going to start soon. Um... I got paid today, so I, I could have done it, but he wanted to pitch in and, you know, help me out for my birthday, so that was cool. I really appreciated that. But yeah, we had fun, man. We went to Target. I checked out the Sonic section, and 
Not much was there. They had the posable action figure Eggman and Sonic, but that was basically it. Two of each. But no one else in the set, unfortunately. My main goal of that adventure to target... Yeah, right? He got, Not only that, but he freaking got me um, the Eggman, the classic Eggman plushie. Like, he bought it for me. I'm like, oh, dude, this is awesome. I want to do something nice for him, too. Hey, what's up, Boom the Hedgy? What's up? Go what's going on here, bud? I don't know why I just said it like that. I'm sorry. How's it going, bud? How's it going there, bud? Oh. Okay, so I think this one is officially trimmed as well as I can. Wait. Okay, there we go. Now it's trimmed. Let's check it. See? Got the nice ridges. Looks good on both sides. That's great. Birthday in four days. What's your Instagram? My Instagram is... Give me a second. <laughs> My Instagram is... I don't know what this is from. Uh, here you go. It, my Instagram is Vegamigo, or underscore Vegamigo underscore. So, there you go. There's that. That's my Instagram. One thing I can't do with these glasses is look at screens or else it'll mess with my eyes. My brother, my brothers can be hard to contact sometimes. I relate to that. It's funny. <laughs> this is a jam, dude. What the heck is this? Hold on. I want to know what this is. I've never heard this. Unexpected encounter. Okay. So now, uh, we're good. I like the extended version of this. Oh, wait, this still feels kind of wet. I don't know if I want to mess with it. Okay, yeah, it still feels a little wet. We're, we're not going to mess with that right now. We'll, we'll, we'll wait a couple minutes. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate it, Larry. It's awesome, man. Thank you. That look... <laughs> when you rose your eyebrow looking at us, it was funny. Yeah, dude. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in my pin cushion because I don't need that pin right now. Okay, so I need the body template real quick. Both of them. So that way I can get a... Actually, no, just the front one, I feel. Yeah, just, just the front one should do just fine. So we go ahead, put little Roxy. Put her over here, nice and safe and tucked away there, bud. There you go. And I'm going to trace this template. Where's my pencil? There it is. I'm going to trace this template. Uh, give me a second. I'm just doing that real quick. My face is way too close to the camera. Actually, yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like how close my, uh, my face is up to the camera. i got to get my freaking actual sketchbook as a pad. So that way my face isn't right against the camera. I don't know why, but I hate I hate seeing that on my end. Because I'm, I'm viewing my stream uh, on the side here. So that way if anything pops up. And also so I can read chat better, but... If anything pops up, I, I know about it. Like if it lags or something. The path to remember. 
Give me a second, I'm almost there. Uh... Okay, there we go. Cool. Now, I got that traced. Let me go ahead and think about how I'm gonna make this here. Uh, let me look at the drawing again. Because I think the wings are pretty decently sized on little Roxy. Or any child to begin with. Uh, let me see here. Uh, let's see. She's a fly chow, so she can. She got big ones. Oh yeah, dude. Do do do. So, okay, Lyra, you saw. Okay, so that animation was my very first and only animation I've ever done. And the, the reason why I say only is because I just haven't gotten around to doing any more. I want to. I literally bought an entire, like, like, 500 page, like, block of <laughs> printer paper so I could just try out some animations. Just for the fun of it, dude. But I never gotten around to it, so... <laughs> Okay, so... Oh, that's going to help a lot, actually. Yes, okay. So... She got big wing. Alright, I'm going to head to bed. Have a good night, guys. See you sa uh, Sunday. See you later, dude. I appreciate it. Um... Yo, if you're still awake by the time I'm done with this, because I'm almost done with the stream, uh, I want to talk about that thing we were talking about earlier, so. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, give me a second, actually. Hold up. Do, do, do. So, is that the model clipping into... Okay, so, I'm looking at the back, because this is actually the perfect photo. So, I'm looking at it. It looks like it kind of like angles, kind of like angles a little bit. Is that just the model clipping into the wing or is that actually how it looks? That's what I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> all right, we'll see what happens. Hey, all right, man. Have a good night, man. Her head model is clipping onto the wing. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go around it. looking to be slightly bigger than the actual body template but that's okay because we want really big wings right not super big actually uh, no yeah i gotta i gotta lose some space because i still gotta keep her tail in mind in mind Okay, that looks pretty good. Let me... Okay, here, let's see here. That looks good. Okay, so I drew out the wing template. That should do fine. That's uh, the body template I just traced on, so... That should look good. That should be great. Uh, now... Let's try cutting it out. And then once we're done cutting that out, we'll see if the paint on the 
antenna is dry, and then I'm gonna end the stream because I got to make phone calls. So <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this, dude. Like I've never made a chat flush before. That like this one's actually coming along great. I like after after this one, I still gotta finish blanket. Um, but we'll see we'll see how that goes. We'll see what happens. Oh. Give me all your criticism, he says. Okay, what's going on here? Give me all your criticisms. Ah, oh, dude, it's me, dude. That's freaking me. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I love it. That's actually really funny. I love it, dude. Check it out. Hold up. Hold on. Y'all gotta see this. This is funny. Blanket deserves a final form. Yes. <laughs> Look at it. There I am, dude. Oh shoot, like it's like sideways, so I gotta like angle it right, but <laughs> that's so funny. That's me. Look at him. <laughs> that looks just like me. Yeah, dude. And I'm hanging out with Dankles. Frankles. That's funny. Thank you, Google. <laughs> uh, what is that? A jar of what is that? Crunchy peanut butter, dude. He's got a jar of crunchy peanut butter. That's really funny. Anything you want me to change? Also adding the peanut butter. I love this. Why is there a door that says 64? What's the door? That's really funny, dude. I love that. <laughs> That's great. I love that. Nintendo 64 because you're standing outside the building. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Give me a second, sorry. Okay, so... I was just checking my Instagram because it was blowing up. Thanks again, Larry. <laughs> Anything you don't like about it? No, I love every bit. I love all of it. I think it's all fantastic. Probably gonna make that my profile pic for a little bit. <laughs> Moogle, I'm gonna make that my profile pic during my birthday. I love it. Can I add the Spanish live and learn guy as well? <laughs> I'd love that. I'm gonna make that my Twitter header <laughs> during my birthday. Uh, exclusively on my birthday since it's a freaking birthday drawing, dude. I love it. You change your profile pic too much. Not really. I mean, I do it every now and then, but most of the time I keep it the same. I just have it as the Eggman thing because I think it's really funny. Any other memes, inside jokes I should add? I can't think of anything else, dude. Make them all say, bruh. <laughs> Don't really. That's a dumb idea. I don't know what this is. My ambition. It's his ambition. Ooh, there we go. Break down, break down. Shining justice. Something a day. Brand new. Great town. Get it? I freaking mashed up this song with JoJo Part 4. Someone edit that. Someone do that, please. Well, I'm tired hitting the hay now. All right, see you later, buddy. I appreciate it. I appreciate you um, sticking around for as long as you need to Good luck on the project you're working on, man, because I saw the template and it looks really cool. Such good stuff, man. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. 
There we go. Got a little, little angel wing. Woo! I get it. Sprinkles. Night, dude. Have a good one. Okay, so now that that template's cut out, we will do that next time. However, right now we're going to focus on getting this second piece trimmed up and ready to go. I can't tell which one it is. Is that the trimmed one or is this one? That's the trimmed one. Actually, I'm looking at this. This doesn't need too much trimming, so this should be fine. Yeah, this is definitely the... Okay, this is the one we didn't trim. It feels cold as if it was just cleaned up uh, drying. Actually, I'm looking at this, and it really doesn't need much to trim. Like, it doesn't have much to trim there, so that's cool. There we go. <laughs> oh, Moogle. You're making my night, man. That's really funny. I'll show it in a second, but give me... I'm just... For real, though, this one doesn't really need trimming all that much. Oh, I knew it was coming, but still. Who remembers that uh, Jazzwares... Um, that Jazzwares, um, Sonic Sega All-Stars Racing Transform toy, where it was like this Sonic car, and it, it, it would light up and spin and drive if you press the button, and it would play this song. I remember seeing that in Toys R Us and thinking, that's, that's very cool, but like, a very weird choice. Moogle knows what I'm talking about. Right? I remember that. I just thought that was pretty cool, but I never bought it. Wasn't there a shadow too? Oh, I love this song. Needs a bit of trimming, just a tiny bit though. it for the trimming legit like there's not much i need to trim on this one I, I painted it pretty good so i think oh wait 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 just tiny thing right here this edge looks a bit rough so let me sand it down Forgetting that a lot of these songs have endings. Ooh. Perfect, dude. Oh my god. Okay, so check this out. There we go. We got that nice and trimmed out. That looks so good. My hand's shaking for whatever reason. I think I'm just tired of holding this in one spot. But yeah, dude. That looks so good. And then on the back, on this side too. Dude, that's perfectly clean. So yeah, these are both done. I could probably sew these on the head now. Let's go! Well, I could add, okay. I don't know if I'm gonna sew them on the head right this second, because again, I am probably gonna end the stream. But what I can do, what I can do is get my two pins. 
Uh, there's that one. There's that one. And I can place those there. Grab that. Temporarily place them so that way I can at least see how these are going to look. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, dude, yes! Oh my god, that looks so good. Check it out, dude! Look at that! That looks so good! Oh, that's adorable. Look at her! She looks so good! That's gonna look great. That's a, that's fantastic. I love it. Dude! Yo! Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm legit happy with this. So, now, the look, the head is basically almost done. So I sew that on, and then I get the face uh, details done. Then I sew the freaking halo. It looks something like this. Look at that, dude! Oh my god! My first chow, everybody. Check it out. This is fantastic. I'm having so much fun with this. It's always nice seeing like a brand new plush you start working on like come together. <laughs> this is great. I'm having fun with this. <laughs> This music is saying other things than what I'm experiencing right now. It's saying that I'm creating chaos itself. But in reality, it's just a chow. An adorable little chow. But dude, I'm loving this. This is turning out great. Aw. Well, I'm glad. I'm really glad you like it. I'm definitely going to sew on the... The antenna tomorrow or something. Like before I go to work or something like that. Maybe even after. But Chaos is a mutated Chow after I didn't know Chaos was like I know Chow I thought I thought that Chow were just like a some somehow like a descendant of Chaos. I mean that's what I thought. But yeah, dude, like legit, this is I'm loving this. I'm having so much fun with this. So like the hands are gonna go on something like this. No, I I, I don't want to put that on yet. Actually, let me see here. And he became the protector. Uh, yeah, but he's a god of destruction. How'd that happen? Give chaos a hedgehog form. <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, so if I add that real quick. So adding her arm, look at this so far! I'm loving this! Look at her! This is so good! It's so cute! Man, this is this is cool. I love this. Man! So now I gotta okay, now I get since I did that, I might as well just like shape the other uh wrist or hand, not wrist, the hand. Oh, hold up. Hi, Luigi. What's up, buddy? There we go. Wait, I think. Hold up. Maybe a little too much. There we go. Perfect. That should be fine. I think. Let me see here. Uh a little bit more. That should be it. Let's see here. Boy, think. Now I'm just gonna. Actually, not gonna add Spanish live and learn guy. It would be too cluttered. That's okay, dude. I like I, just the concept idea though was really funny. So that alone just gave me a good smile. Um. Now let's see. Where is my 
we pliers. Wire pliers. There they are. The ones with the cutter. Okay, so check this out, right? So we're gonna add the little loop. So, cool, that leaves a lot of access of that wire, like a uh, bunch more, so that's cool. It might actually be a tiny bit uneven, actually. Come on. Uh, wait, I got an idea, check it out. I got another pair. Grab that. Whoa! There we go. Okay, there's that, and now... Thank you, Blake. Welcome. I didn't see you there. Welcome to my stream. Okay, so now... Whoa! Falling. Falling, guys. The song. <laughs> I don't care what you're thinking Cause what I have in my two hands Is enough to set me free Oh my goodness Okay Resist it over time When it's just too much to take You sneak up from behind Oh, I love, I love this. This is so good. Look at her! She's a kitty! <laughs> Look at her! Oh, this is gonna be so good. This is turning out fantastic. This is looking awesome, dude. She's coming together, dude. This is great. I'm, I'm so freaking, I'm so happy with this. Oh. This is, this is, this is fantastic, dude. I love it. Oh, thank you, dude. <laughs> Man, this is... I'm having so much fun with this, dude. <laughs> this is great. I recognize them all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do one last thing. We're going to go ahead and make the tail template because I got to have that. Oh, my neck. Hold up. There. Okay, sorry. My neck got really freaking... Tense, dude. Thank you, everybody. Drawing is done tomorrow. I color and show you the finished one the day before your birthday so you can use the art for things. Absolutely! I'm freaking hyped up for that, dude. I love it. Here. Oh, there it is. Uh, wait, no, hold up. Give me a second. I'm trying to find. I should have saved the image. There we go. Wait. Uh, there we go. Got it. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and make that. Oh, you know what I should do? I should actually fold this. No, I'm gonna go ahead and tear that. I'm gonna go ahead and tear that off, so that way it's nice and uh, you know. So now, okay, so we're going to go ahead and I'm 
trying really hard to get this right. So I am going to have to paint the purple on the tail because there's no way I can get the template that small. But that's okay. That's okay. At the end of the day, it's okay. Man, I'm excited to get my freaking um, anniversary set complete, dude. I mean, I basically did, and not only that, but I also got Amy, classic Amy from Jazzwares. So, like, I'm pretty much set. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I like it too, man. I had fun setting that up. It was really funny. Because we're Sadic Heroes. Anytime you want a rematch, just let me know. I'll be waiting. That's what Sonic says at the end of the game. That's his last words. No, actually his last words is like, Yeah, we're Sonic Heroes! And then the game ends. Favorite Sonic voice actor, uh, uh, Ryan, Ryan Drummond. This freaking, this is the full version of the freaking special stage. I love Ryan. That's why whenever I do my freaking impression of Sonic, I try my best to replicate that one because I just love the attitude. I mean, my, I love Jason Griffith. That's the one I grew up with. And I, I just love how much of a freaking kind-hearted person uh, he makes Sonic. I love that. But when it comes to the... When it comes to the attitude, Ryan Drummond's got it down. Okay. That's very tiny, but I could probably make that work. And if I can't, then I'll just uh, make another one. Um, so let me see. How would that look on the actual... Might have to make it a little bigger, but we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll get there when we get there. So, yeah, dude. I, I prefer a mix of the two. Honestly, yeah. If that if that were possible, I can't stand, dude. Okay, so I can't stand Roger Craig Smith as Sonic, dude. Like I don't I don't have anything wrong like against the actor himself. I think he's a pretty chill dude. Like he's really cool. But I hate I I just can't stand Roger Craig Smith uh, Smith's Sonic. <laughs> It took me a minute to say that. It's just, just I, I don't like it. I don't like it as Sonic. And I hate the fact that he, out of every freaking voice for Sonic, has lasted the longest. He's lasted for almost an entire decade. Actually, no, he has lasted for a full decade. And the other Sonic voices, such as Ryan Drummond or Jason Griffith, um, they only been Sonic for like five or four four or five years so you know it kind of sucks so okay I think we're good I think we're set I think we're good for the night we can leave it here um but yeah dude we got so much done legit like I am absolutely loving this like legit this is looking fantastic so we're gonna leave it here um but yeah dude um I'm just so happy with this. This is so cool. And then whenever... I, I am going to leave the Halo for last because I feel like if I do add that now, it's just going to get in the way of smaller details, especially in the face. But, um... Yeah, dude. I'm having a blast with this. This is adorable. Um, okay. Before I head out, I'm curious... Hold on. The new writing uh, with him seriously doesn't help either. I agree, dude. I totally agree. But, um, okay, so, question. If Angel Wings is still there, if you're still there, I just wanted to ask if, um, because I noticed on the model you sent, she has that, um, that little badge thing on her chest. The, this, 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 this little thing. Um, do you want me to add that as well? Because I totally could. Totally could if you want. Did 
It's up to you. If you can, that'd be great. I'd understand if it's too small, though. Oh, dude, I could probably make it work. I could probably make it work. So, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a shot. This is the original version. This is like the Prototype version, yeah. Yeah, this is the original. I kind of like this one a lot. I mean, I'm not saying I like it more, but it's cool. It's a cool variant. It's like a remix. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave it there. We got a lot done today. Like, this is this is freaking progress. Like, legit. I am so happy with this. Um, but uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I really appreciate it. I'm going to try streaming uh, Sunday again. Um, I can't do it tomorrow because I got work the majority of the day. But, um, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'm going to head out. I'm going to go make some phone calls. Uh, to my friends since they were trying to get a hold of me but um thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it angel it was good having you here getting your opinion on these um this was fun i was having a i'm having so much fun with this <laughs> i'm i'm really glad i'm really glad you like you so much like legit that just helps <laughs> have a good night y'all i'll see you later phantom oh dude sorry phantom um I'm going to be live Sunday, um, I don't know when, probably about like 5 p.m., hopefully. But yeah, dude. Bye, guys. See you later. Have a good night. Stay safe. Take care. Love y'all. Bye.